Class, here's an interesting program. How could you choose a random number between 1 and 10 and repeat that 500 times and store the results in an array? We're going to do that. We're going to, in a uh, subchart here called Make Big Array, we're going to choose a random number between 1 and 10 and we're going to do that 500 times. Then we're going to keep track with make small array, we're going to use another subchart, make small array, and we're going to count the number of times that one was chosen, the number of times that two was chosen, etc., all the way up to the number of times that ten was chosen in those 500 uh, random numbers. And then we'll output a little bit of a heading and we'll show the small array that was created here. Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at, first of all, the make big array subchart. Here's what it looks like. We're going to start off by initializing a 500 element array called integers with all of the elements having a value of zero. We need to do this, otherwise the compiler is going to complain. And we definitely don't want to run this program and watch it run sequentially. We definitely want to compile it for speed. We've got count set to one. Count equals 500 is going to stop the loop. So we have a loop that's going to run 500 times. What's it going to do 500 times? It's going to choose a random number between 1 and 10. And we do that with floor random times 10 plus 1, similar to what we did earlier in the number guessing game. Then we will take that temp variable and we will assign it to our uh, current element of the integers array. And that's going to happen 500 times. So 500 times we're going to get a number between 1 and 10 and store it in this array. Let's take a look at make small array. Make small array is going to process that larger array and it's going to create another array called results which has just 10 elements in it. But we're going to use a clever trick. We're going to let results 1 be the number of times that the number 1 was chosen during the random 500 number. And results 2 will be the number of times that 2 came up as a random number, and so on. So here we have a loop that's going to run uh, ten, uh, 500 times as well. We have to process the whole uh, array, that big array. But what we're going to do is we're going to cleverly put the uh, integers count inside the square brackets of the results and increment that. So it's a little bit tricky. Can you see what's going on there? Uh, for example, if, if we get the integers count happens to be 5, then it's going to be results 5 equals results 5 plus 1. And that will be used in this array then. And we can output that to see how many times 5 was chosen. Let's take a look at the show small array. It's relatively simple compared to the others. Uh, it's a loop that's going to run just 10 times because we know that that uh, uh, results array has only 10 elements in it. And what we're going to do is show the number of times that 1 came up, the number of times that 2 came up, and so on. Let's give it a try. Believe me, this program is a lot easier uh, to write than it was to describe. Here we go. Now there's one run. 500 random numbers between 1 and 10. And if you were to add up all of these numbers here on the right-hand side, you would get a total of 500. I'll just run it one more time. And you get totally different output. But once again, these will all add up to 500. Now what you definitely don't want to do here is run this anything but compiled. And I'll show you why. We'll clear it. And I'll just let it get started. And you'll see how long it's going to take. 500 times it's going to have to go through this loop to develop that first array. That large array called uh, integers. It's going to take some time. So that's why you'd want to run it compiled. Give this a try. It should be in your sample programs for this uh, unit.